Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. The agenda of this tutorial, we are going to run the Eclipse IDE on Windows 11 without setting up the environment variable. Yes. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to run the Eclipse on Windows 11 without setting up the environment variables. So you are thinking like, what is the benefit? Let me tell you the benefit. If your system administrator is not allowing you to change anything on your system and the access of the environment variable is blocked and you are not able to change anything, in that case, you can easily run the Eclipse without going to set up the environment variable and you can start coding without any hustle. So friends, these are the steps we are going to follow one by one. Let's begin with the step one. So first, we need to download the right Eclipse package file and we need to unzip it somewhere on our file system. Let's begin, open the Chrome browser and just type download Eclipse for the Windows and you will see some results on your browser and just scroll down and click here. And now you will see this page of the Eclipse. And now here we have the link download 2023-03 and you will be redirected to the eclipse.org download page website and here you can see a lot of things but we are not going to download the installer and we are looking for the right package so go to the right side and you will see this small link download packages just click on it and now you will be redirected to the another page just scroll down and here we have the eclipse id for the enterprise java and web developers so we need to click on this Windows 64 and now you will be here so you can simply click on this orange download button or you can simply click on this link once you click you will see the downloading is in progress and the file size is 518 MB and uh, this will take few more minutes for the complete downloading okay once the downloading is finished I would suggest you to copy this zip folder and put somewhere at the safe location on your drive so in this example I'm just copying that downloaded zip file and putting here on one of the folder and this way I have just pasted that downloaded zip file here now the next step is we need to unzip it you can use simply uh, the default unzip uh, software or you have the 7 zip you can proceed with that to unzip this file so this way, this is uh, extraction uh, process is in progress and done. And now we will see inside the package what we have. So here we have the uh, all the important files and folders of the Eclipse package. That's great. Now come back to the folder and let me open the notepad. Now we will see about the step two. So the second step is most important. Now we need to download the compatible JDK or JRE package file because without this we cannot run our Eclipse. So I have already downloaded the JDK 17 which I have downloaded the last month and the package was already there in the download folder. So I'm using that thing and I'm going to put that file. I'm going to use that package. If you don't have, you can visit the Oracle website and download the package. So this time I'm using Java 17 because we have downloaded the very latest Eclipse package. So Java 17 is compatible with the latest one. Now extract this zip folder and you will see this folder and go inside. You will have this JDK folder and all the important files inside this one. Okay, now we are back at the root folder so what we need to do we need to copy this jdk folder and come back and uh, look for the eclipse the downloaded folder of the eclipse go inside the eclipse and uh, here you need to paste that jdk folder this is the important thing so what we have done we just copied the jdk folder and we come inside the eclipse folder and we paste it here you can see our JDK folder and the Eclipse.ini files are together. Now, now the step three. In the step three, we need to update the Eclipse.ini file. And I'm going to tell you the instruction. Please follow me. So just open the INI file in the notepad. 
And now what we have to look here, we have to look the hyphen VM arguments. You can see uh, right here, we have hyphen VM and the value. So what I will do, I will simply remove the value of the VM arguments, which is the different path. And uh, simply whatever the path is there, just delete it. Okay, and now what you have to uh, put here, I'm going to tell you. Just minimize this file. Okay, come back, go inside the JDK folder. And then go inside the bin folder. Okay, and now we need to look for one file which is important javaw.exe. We need to give the path of this file. So the path will be only JDK folder slash bin slash file name. Okay, we need to put only this path. I will show you. So open the uh, eclipse.ini file and paste it. So you can see what I'm using JDK folder forward slash bin forward slash java w.exe. So you can go here and copy the name of this exe, java w.exe. Okay, this way. Only this path is required here. JDK 17.0.6 forward slash they bin forward slash java w.exe. That's it. All done. So only this thing we need to update inside the eclipse.ini file. Please save it. And we will test this method is working or not. So you can see here. I have the Java home, which is already set for some uh, JDK. So I will delete the Java home completely from the environment variable. And here the path I'm going to delete that deleted and nothing is here. And all environment variables, which was already set is just deleted now. Now we will test our setup. Okay. So I'm uh, going to the Eclipse folder and looking for the Eclipse exe launch file so this is the launch file before launch i am going to create one more folder which will work as a workspace for this eclipse so i'm going to launch this and the very first you will see this splash screen of the eclipse 2023-03 okay now it will ask you for the workspace location so i have just created a folder then i will select here as a workspace so my all projects will be saved inside that folder. Okay, that's great. And now click on the launch. Okay, now you will see the Eclipse is loading and we are on the right path. Now you can see, okay, the Eclipse loaded successfully and we have the welcome screen of the Eclipse. Now we will create a simple Java project. We will do a test run. So go to the file menu, go to the new, click on the project. And here we will select the Java project. That simple, give the project name, my first Java project, whatever you want to give, please give the name and now use the default JDK, which is 17.0.6, which we have set up for this Eclipse. Okay, click next. And this is the source, click finish. And this is select open Java perspective. And now your project is ready. Click here and you will see the package explorer. And here you have one file. Okay, leave that and now create a new Java class file. So give the package name, give the class name for your Java class. First Java program, first Java program. Okay. And uh, I'm going to create uh, this class with the main method. That's it and the file is ready. Now I will uh, try to give one uh, print statement here, like SYSO, uh, hello, cool IT help, please like and subscribe. So I have this, uh, these statements in this program. Okay, so we have the three print LN statements and this is our program. And now we will uh, do a build and run, do the right click, Select as a Java application and you will see the result on the console. Hello, cool ID help. The second statement printed, like and subscribe to learn more. That comes 
from the third statement. So guys, we have a successful test run of our eclipse. Now the step five is yours. Please like and subscribe if you found this tutorial relevant and useful. You guys are awesome. And uh, thanks for watching.